gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My wife and I would like to thank you all for coming today to celebrate Sadi's wedding. I would like to share a few stories about my son. He was my second child, born after a beautiful girl, and he completed my family. He used to copy me as a child so much that one day, age three, he went into my bathroom, took out my shaving kits and soap and razor, shaved his face. <laughs> and obviously he could not go to nursery for a few days. From very early on, early on, I realized that he was very keen in electronic things. He used to make me lift him up at Heathrow Airport to press the button on the ticket machine and the telephone kiosk. He loved to play with my key cards and one occasion locked the keys inside the car. <laughs> we bought him a computer when he was four years old, as he was very advanced for his age. After a few years, he insisted on buying a most expensive computer available in those days, around 3,000 pounds. <laughs> it cost me so much that I was reluctant to buy. But in the end, he convinced, convinced me and told me that once I buy this one, I don't have to buy any more computer because he will be replacing the parts. But after two years, he said, Dad, this computer is useless. And I have to buy another one. And I gave in. He was a very talented child, good at sport, and very creative mind. My house used to be converted in electronic wires and ropes and all sorts of mechanisms when he was a child. He did it all for making and he did all for making an alarm using the old car radio to making a projector and bathroom light gather. My wife used to call his room electromagnetic field. <laughs> My son is a very soft, kind hearted person. I am very proud of him. And while Susanna is my courage, Sadi is my strength. He is always by my side forever helping me with my accounts as well as family business. I am very lucky to have a such caring and beautiful son. I am very happy to welcome Reem into my family. Reem is like my another daughter to me and I pray and hope that Allah makes your union happy and prosper. Thank you all. our relationship in just a few lines. I didn't know where to start, so I did. I just speak from the heart. I remember the day Sadi was born. I remember going in the ambulance. I wasn't even three, I was two years, 11 months old. But I remember, I remember seeing you taking your little ball. I was with you, Dad, do you remember at Rooks Cross Hospital? I thought he would play with me, but he didn't pick it up. No, I didn't understand that. Um, I've always thought of you. I remember mum has always told us that after mum, I'm your mum. And it's always been like that. I, I used to put you to sleep as a child. When it was bedtime, I used to <laughs> put you to sleep. I used to help you with your homework. And I've always, always looked after you. And when we grew up, you looked after me. And you're my best friend. You're everything to me. There's no one in the world that I rely on and can trust in more than you. So, I can't say any more. I love you, Sadi. And Reem, what can I say? In the 
last few years I've known you, you're not just an amazing person, your spirit is so good, you've been such a help to me. In some of my really difficult times, it was you that helped me through it. And you compliment my brother so well. When he's hot-headed, you're calm. When I'm hot-headed and screaming at my brother and he think we were like five and eight and my mum's gonna hit us with a shoe. You calm us down. <laughs> yeah, we still fight to me, my brother. Um, and, and vice versa, Sunny, you're very understanding. I can see how you're going to be a fantastic husband. Um, I really love both of you, and I hope you have the best life that Allah could have given anybody. Love you both. Thank you. Mom, 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 mom. Hey, you have to come here. Mom. 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 Uh, I mean, is my first son, I can say from what I have sold because I got married 37 years. After 14 years, my son was born. Before that, all the time I did with my son. Uh, when he's two or three, I'm your mother, Ashi. Morning, I share good to pay our bed to the after. Mini Kala and toilet. Okay, toilet finish. <laughs> then he said, Mini Kala, Dim Kabo. Okay, Dim. Now what? Now I'm to sleep. Every day he used to come to my bed and sleep. So one day when Baba had gone to get out here, she said, I'm a chile koi, chile koi. I said, chile lost. Then, I'm a sister, I said, I'm a little bit of a bed. Anyway, I mean, for Sadiq Bete, she's still. Now she's a boy, he's my son. And my son is 14, now he's 23. He's going to 24, but Sadiq is my first son. So, all the way, Shabakachi Dua Chai, Dua Korben, Fardi and Rimi Juno, Rimi is a very good girl. She's very nice, she's very soft. I mean, Dua Korben, Rimi and Sabi, both of them, you know, happy life, Shabakachi Dua Korben. Thank you very much. Woohoo! I had any siblings, but it never felt like it because I had a brother like Sabi Bhatt and a sister like Sabi Bhatt. And, uh, do you know, like, growing up in Bangladesh, it never felt like I was alone because, like, every time I had an issue, I had a problem, I needed a bar bike, people were always there for me. And I remember, like, at one point, my life was not going in a good direction, and he was there to, good, like, guide me through it, like, all through. Like, I can never pay you back for that. And thank you so much, like, Hubby, you know, you're the best. Like, without you, I wouldn't have passed my exams. I, I came here to study, and like, three days before my exams, I'm like, what's corporation tax? Like, I had no idea. <laughs> she came and sat down with me for like six, seven hours. Like, who would do that for you? Like, she's more than a sister to me. And like, you guys are amazing. And I have a brother in you, and I have a sister in you as well. You guys are the best. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.